Okay, so guys, welcome to AIA Athletes in Action. We are so excited to be here. My name is Jared Barnes. My name is Natasha Schwartz. And this year, we wanted to do something a little different to, to pop it off, to open it up, add a little juicy juice to it, you know, a little spice. So Natasha and I, we were in the lab last night. Lab in the lab. We got a little rap for y'all, okay? I don't normally do this, but... Um, we're gonna, we gonna just try it out, okay? So we need, we need some juice from y'all. Can, can we stand up? Can everybody stand up, please? You know, get a pop in Come on. Okay, so what we gonna do, we're doing it to the song all the way up, right? Y'all know y'all know that song, the Echo Y'all to Jesus. And we're gonna do it together, though, the chorus, okay? So I'm gonna teach you guys the chorus. Y'all gonna do that with me. He gonna do everything else, all right? Okay, so it's instead of show you what I want, show you what I need, it's Jesus, uh, Jesus, what I want, Jesus, what I need. Jesus, what I want, Jesus, what I need. Hey. Wait, pause. Y'all gotta get into it. Y'all gotta feel it, okay? Like, rock back side to side. Hey. Come on. All right, Jesus, what I want, Jesus, what I need. Jesus, what I want, Jesus, what I need. Always by my side, yeah, he never leaves. Always by my side, yeah, he never leaves. Die on the cross for you and me. Die on the cross for you and me. So we can live forever in eternity. So we can live forever in eternity. Okay. So y'all got it? Y'all got it? Look at me. All right. right. Y'all feel feeling it? You can just feel it. Y'all feeling it? Get right. Okay. Loosen up. It's after practice. Don't go to you. Step out your numbers on. Step out your numbers on. I'm doing the same thing. Go ahead. Go ahead and play that music. Go ahead. <laughs> Look. school thing no we are in 90 different um, countries around the world we are at over um, 250 college campuses like this is a big deal there's people from pro to high school and we reach everyone with the gospel through sport and so we're so excited for you guys to be here if it's your first time have fun relax we're not gonna call into pray or anything crazy like that I promise it's a good safe place we can just come and learn about God and even see other athletes and see how we do it okay Okay, so before we get started, I want to introduce all of our staff. So if our staff could walk outside, please, before I introduce them. <laughs> yeah, we will get the popping. Y'all thought I was playing. Okay. Oh, I'll wait for me to get outside. Y'all doing all right today? For real? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So dead. No juice. You all right? You good? My man in the back, good. All right. <laughs> So first up, oh, you got a music? Okay, okay. Oh, we got some hype music. Uh-oh. 
starting lineup. Okay, so first up, man, we got my man Tom Brody. Been in ministry for 36 years. Wrestling at Wittenberg. Uh oh. Now he's a crowd favorite. Go ahead. Jog it down. Jog it down to we need smoke. So Tom has been in ministry for 30, 36 years. Wrestler at Wittenberg. His wife, Julie, as she walks down. Give her a round of applause, Julie. Been in ministry for 35 years. Played tennis at Hillside. Next, we got Chris. He's been on staff for 10 years. My man played tight end at Miami of Ohio. Bro. Next. We got Amy. Amy is Amy, but no, no Amy. But we still clap for Amy. Amy, she's white. Not a good tonight, but she's white. Who we got next? Who we got next? Next we got uh, Tessie. Tessie? Okay, all right, Tessie. Was on the dance team from uh, 2010 to 2014. Was involved with AIA during that time. And now she's back after she graduated. Graduated while she's working on her master's in this. Very impressive. Another round of applause. Next, Natasha. Uh, this is good, this is good. Here we go. She's a second year intern. She played volleyball, ran track, and threw javelin at Audubon University. Next, we got Victoria. Do we have Victoria? Okay, Victoria. She's volunteer with AIA. Second year volunteer. She's a former OSU gymnast, and now her sister Olivia. Oh, man. And Sarah. So we got Sarah. Oh, 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 oh. Sarah. All right. 17 years of ministry from the University of Massachusetts. Welcome to Athletes in Action. I'm just going to take two minutes to briefly explain who we are, what we're doing, what you can expect. I've been on staff. This is my 14th year on staff. I graduated from Ohio State, a Buckeye through and through. Um, and so I was thinking through a verse, like what's a good verse that kind of defines who we are? And there's a lot of verses in the Bible that I think represent who we are. But the one verse that came to mind was Romans 1.16. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. And <clears throat> two things that describe athletes in action. God has provided in his divine power through the person of Jesus Christ an opportunity for us to be in a personal relationship with God. And Paul also says that we're not ashamed. And our staff walk unashamedly in confidence on campus to bring this good news to the student athletes, to the coaches, to the staff here at Ohio State. Um, you'll hear us talk about, I think if I, if I were to sum up who are we with Athletes in Action, it's, we're about knowing Jesus and making Jesus known. Jesus is probably the most important person that ever walked on the face of the earth. And the reality is, is he's calling us into a relationship with him. My question to you is, do you know him? And secondly, what's most important about you is where you stand with Jesus. Do you know him? Or, you do, or do you not know him? We want you to experience a relationship with him. And what's most important about the people around you is where they stand with Jesus. And so we're going to unpack more of what that means throughout the year. And here at Athletes in Action, we take our faith seriously. And you're going to, you're going to experience serious Christianity. And this is the best way I can define serious Christianity. is a faith that applies itself to every dimension of life. The intellectual, the behavioral experiential it seeks to view them as an integrated whole so our generation this generation we need to be equipped more than just knowing what we believe but knowing why we believe it and if you understand the why between the why behind what we believe you're going to stand more confidently when you stand for Jesus on your teams and so what does that look like we're going to look at objective truths we're going to look at the person of Jesus. We're going to use the Bible and teach you what the Bible says about him. We're not going to ask you to leave your brain at the door. We're going to ask you to bring your mind, your rationale, 
in here. We're going to challenge you in your thinking. Behavioral imperatives. If I'm not seeing things the way Jesus sees them, if I'm not feeling feeling about the things, if I'm not feeling the same way Jesus feels about things, and if I'm not doing the things that Jesus does, then I may need to start to reorient the way I'm living my life. And there's going to be a challenge for us to respond to that reality in our behavior. But we're all in process. We're all in process in this spiritual journey. And we want you to unpack your bags here for this year with Athletes in Action as we go through this journey together. And this experiential authenticity. We're not going to talk about religion here. We're going to talk about a relationship. As I read through the Bible, what I see is the Bible is talking about a relationship with the God that created you and me and gives us every breath. And so you're going to hear us talk about a personal relationship with Jesus. We want you to stay here, come back week after week, and learn more about what that is. There's 168 hours in a week. I'm going to challenge you guys to give God to give us two hours. That's less than 1% of your entire week. One hour at Athletes in Action here on Wednesday nights. 15 minutes with a staff person. 15 minutes before practice, after practice, whatever it is. Maybe 15 minutes with a team Bible study. And then a half an hour for you to decide what you want to do to grow spiritually. And so Coach Tom Ryan, the head, co the head wrestling coach, he says, Athletes in Action is the greatest resource for our student athletes. And I hope you choose to take your faith seriously this year. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. Um, so real quick before I pray and kind of we get into the, the meat of the meeting, um, I kind of just want to tell you guys from the heart what Athletes in Action has done for me. So recently, um, and you guys have did, did preseason training camp like before the season in August, anybody? Yeah, oh, my JT right there with me, yeah. So we had our football training camp, and some of y'all do preseason camp, this is a little bit different. We, it was two and a half straight weeks of 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. of football. And I thought I was about to lose my mind. I'm like, Lord have mercy, I can't even do it. Um, so yeah, and, and I'm, in, I'm in camp, and I'm, I'm busting my butt, man. I'm, I'm going hard every practice, locked in in meetings, listening to coach, all that kind of stuff. And you know, I'm, re I'm reading my devotional every morning in the hotel. So you stay in the hotel, we kind of cut off from the world. So I'm, I'm reading my devotional, I'm praying, I'm, I'm living my life right, and just things aren't working out. I'm just like, man, I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, God, like, you leaving me hanging right now. Fuck, I'm talking to the wall, like, come on now. And, and I just felt that silence. So um, I, I kind of felt that distance from God. And, and what Athletes in Action has done for me is giving me such a strong core value system to where I know no matter what, God is always with me. God is always by my side. So I, whatever's going on in my life, I don't doubt that he is there. I don't doubt that he's working. And some of you guys might have just come because your friend invited you. You might just be here because you're walking around in Yonkin and wanted a free food. I don't blame you. I've done the same thing at Wings. Um, but yeah, I just want to encourage you guys, man. And if you just take an hour once a week or you come once a month, I know it's busy with fall sports. And you might, you might hear a word that could change your life, change your perspective, change how you view the world. And I've only... To be honest with you, I've only been walking with the Lord for about a year and a half, two years now. And my life is done a complete 180. Um, and it's thanks to this group, thanks to this awesome staff who's been so supportive to all the other things that Natasha's gonna tell you about here in a second. Um, so yeah, that's just me coming from the heart and, and hearing it from me. Um, so real quick, I'll, I'll go ahead and pray and I'll, I'll let Natasha talk to you guys. So dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you that we have, were able to have this meeting, God, and all come together. Almost 130 of us come out tonight. What a wonderful show, God. So thank you for everyone who made it out. Um, I pray that we just enjoy this fellowship, enjoy this community, take this time to get to know each other, and, and really just spend time in your word, God. And I pray that um, everyone else's week would be blessed, and that we would all be back next week. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so real quick, we're going to, if Michael, you could flip back to the Bible. Oh, you're already there. Look at you. All right, so I'm going to tell you guys some of the many things we do on campus. So we have this weekly meeting and it's boss and it's fun. I'm gonna tell you more about what the next few weeks are gonna look like for the weekly meeting. But we do so much more than that. So like I said, we have uh, ministries all over the world, but right here on this campus, there are Bible studies. And so these are the women's Bible studies. Um, and if your name, if your team is up here, either you don't have a Bible study yet, we can help you make one or you do and I accidentally forgot to put it up, it's fine. Um, but either way, 
these are the people that you can contact. So the stars are just the people who are staff until you just met us or whatever, but everyone else are people from your team. And so gymnastics is Michelle, and then you just have all these different people on your team you can talk to. Um, you go to the menu as well. Oh wait, I'm supposed to do that. Oh, no, you're good. Okay, awesome. There you go, Michael. Um, so yeah, so we have the men's Bible studies as well, and then we also have missions trips. And so these missions trips are not your average missions trips. Um, you get to play your sport, and so the, all the rigorous activity that you do, whatever you can do with people from all over the country, go to, um, travel to different places in the world, and be able to not only um, play them and usually beat them because we're Ohio State, so we're boss. But at the same time, you'll be humble. Like there's so many times people have watched the feet of children who don't even have shoes. You know, like you're able to experience your faith in a different way, and it's like one or two weeks long. You know, so there's mission trips, and there's also um, winter retreat is a huge thing, y'all. I cannot tell you. Winter retreat is so bomb. It's three days long in Xenia. Does anyone even know where Xenia is? Really? Okay. All right. Okay, cool. I didn't know where it was until a couple years ago. It's fine. It's in Ohio, surprisingly. It's like this random place, but it has the worldwide headquarters of Athletes in Action. And students from all over our region, from Division One, Division Three, all get together. We learn about God. We are competitive. We play at this crazy dodgeball tournament. The scariest thing ever, um, but it's so much fun. And then you just get together, and it's cool. It's like, okay, wait, it's not just my campus. It's happening all over the country, you know? And then there we also have um, community outreach that we do. And so some of you guys are on the text message list or whatever you can see maybe on the face Facebook page or things like that. Um, but there's uh, times that we go out into the homeless community, and which is basically outside for the most part, and we just um, make peanut butter jelly sandwiches with them and share the gospel, or even just talk with them sometimes. Um, I promise you, when you go one time, you'll be hooked. It's so humbling. Um, 